What's up, guys? It's Nelson from Jolly Roger Airsoft, and today we're going to be doing something that I saw Rainbow uh, Ops Airsoft doing. They did a video where they had they just played back their film, and they did some commentary on it. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do for this Operation Vasquez. So, yeah, it's going to be a really cool new little test here. Tell me what you think of it. And, yeah, so right now I'm just going to be sitting here watching the video. And I'm just going to be going straight, what I notice, what I'm thinking at the time, you know, that kind of thing. Um, we also have Austin's perspective up. He's not doing a commentary, but we have his perspective. And he got a lot of good action footage. So, yeah, this is the first game I actually used my new camera that I'm actually using right now. And um, it gives me a really good picture. I'm really liking it right now. So at this point, I'm out in the front because I'm with two snipers. And I'm trying to rally with the rebels, who may or may not shoot us, I don't know. And so yeah, basically I'm just sitting here looking for some bad guys out ahead. Yeah, at this point I'm just kind of maneuvering so that I don't walk right into the Vasquez's forces. I'm trying to meet up with the rebels. I remember there was a little confusion at the beginning because we weren't sure they knew we were on our team. Uh, I think up here I get shot by one of the rebels, so that's probably what happens. I think it was Austin that shot me. Of course, you didn't get that on video, so I can't prove it, but whatever. You know. So you're just kind of creeping up, trying to get as close as I can to the rebel position. So up there, there's one of the... I can't tell who that is. Oh, nope, that is Vasquez's forces right there. He sees me. He starts shooting at me. I kind of get down. You know. I think that's, that's actually Joe, so. I start returning fire up there. I think I get one of them right there. There's a little firefight going on all across the line here between Blunt and Dugout. I wish I, I need to find a better way to mount these cameras so that it doesn't vibrate every time I shoot, you know? So yeah, here we're just kind of trading some fire. I know I have Ryan to my right with his KWA, so we're pretty much set here. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going here and I'm trying to find some rebels to kind of, you know, get this attack started. Uh, take some cover behind this tree. I think right around here is where I get shot. Yep. Right here was it. I'm hit. Now I have to go back to my spawn. So yeah, we respawn, and I head out there, and I'm going to go talk to them and make sure that they know that we're on our team, or on their team. So yeah, we come up, here's uh, Ryan, or no, that's Justin, I'm not sure. And so we discuss, basically, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry I don't get any of these discussion moments on camera. It's kind of uncomfortable to talk to someone when you're pointing a gun at them. You know, since these things are loaded. And in the interest of safety, it's probably best that I don't. So right now, I mean, we're just moving back towards the front. At this point, I think I'm with Justin or Ryan. And we're kind of rallying. Trying to get a concerted attack going on the rebels. 
say I'm getting a lot of leaves here. Some leg shots. This isn't the most attractive, sexy video out there, but, you know. I might skip past some of this part to get to some shooting. Alright, so we're getting closer as you can see. Yeah, so they're asking me where our snipers are. Alright. So we're here and now I'm looking back here through the forest at the bases. As you can see them all moving around up there, scurrying around. Those are all Vasquez's people up there on that hill. We call it Fort Blunt. And, yeah, that's pretty much our objective. We're trying to take Fort Blunt. And so this camera actually gives you really good visibility on those guys at far range that my iPod, per se, doesn't. I, that was some sort of bonsai charge by Vasquez's people. I saw that on Austin's video too. I had to play it twice to make sure it was actually on the video. It's kind of weird. A dramatic effect, and I like it. Now here we're kind of, you know, moving up. Now I'm with Austin here, and you can see this on his video too. This is right where Austin's video starts. So Austin's video doesn't start at the beginning. It starts right about right. here where I rally with them and show them how to turn on the iPod. I heard down here and I heard that looks like Kirk. Hold your fire, that's a sniper. So we see Kirk. Or maybe not. And or maybe not. I can't get an ID. Or maybe not. We can't really tell. We're not really sure who it is. Hit him. Might be Maher. But now they're moving, as you can see. Oh, they're a lot closer than they were. Me and Austin are doing our work over here, getting our kills. And basically, we're right outside their spawn, so they're trying to spawn and we're kind of picking them off. We pushed that far ahead. It's kind of dirty, but you play to win the game. Now that's one down, right there. That was a pretty clean kill. I'll count that up as a confirmed kill. On the top of the hill? On the top of the hill? Roger. Now there's a bunch of them up on the top of the hill. Like all behind one sheet of plywood. There's like three of them hiding with the general. And right. see here you, here you got guys moving away. They're respawning. And we're just opening up on them and I kind of feel bad about it. But whatever. It's the game. And they could be at our spawn too. Where's Ryan Maher? Have you seen him? Where's Ryan Maher? Have you seen him? Yeah, so Maher is General Vasquez, and we're looking for him. Because he's the objective. Once we kill him, we win. In hindsight, there really, there really wasn't much way for Vasquez's people to win. I mean, they really, all they could do is hold out for as long as they could. Some more leaf shots here. And you know, we're kind of just going back and forth up here in this little area below Blunt. It's a pretty strong defensive position, and it's not easy, you know, to attack. So, I'm kind of moving up here. And I'm not sure, I think I get hit up here. I uh, switched to semi automatic because I'm on mid caps, and. I'm running, what, 11 mid-caps, and I didn't pull out my high cap until I really needed it. But I really really didn't have much ammo in my mid-caps. They were misfeeding and whatnot, and I was getting like 30 rounds out of them. So it was like a standard magazine. So I decided to go semi-automatic here and kind of conserve some ammunition. Yo. Yo. You see them up there? That is the place where they're all kind of hiding behind that's their big fortress. I'm running up here, trying to do, I don't know where I'm going to, because there's really no cover up here. Oh, here it is. This part is great, because you just see it, I'm just lighting them up. Me and Ryan down there at the base of that hill, we're just lighting them up. And they were, it was ridiculous, there were like five of them right there. 
I haven't seen anything like it. Now he's at the base of that little rampart there with his KWAM4, and he's lighting him up right down there. I can't remember if he gets hit or not. Okay, this guy's dead, but I keep shooting him anyway. They're all pretty much dead up there. <laughs> now this one, I, I don't forget about this one. Touch it? Touch it? He touches it. And boom! Tango down. But then I get hit, so I mean, karma, right? Spawn camping, they got me. So, basically, I head back to, head back to spawn. I'll probably count it, cut out the walk for you guys. Okay, so I'm back in the game now. I've respawned, I'm back in our rear. And here I come up behind Austin and Justin. And they're getting ready to push up on the flank. And so yeah, I come up on them, uh, I guess it's yeah, yeah. Kurt, we, we got pin down really Justin, good. and Austin comes with us too, I'm pretty sure. So we're discussing how to do this best. Hey, h and co 2 usp you should check out that review. Gun spotting, okay. So we're moving up. They charge in their spawn, and there it is. So that's it for the game. It went on for a little... Justin killed a bunch of people after that. And it's funny because he's usually the ones who calls the games and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Operation Killing Vasquez 3. I hope you like this little setup. Uh, it's really fun for me to do. And um, a shout out to Rainbow Ops because they really kind of, that was a really great idea. And yeah, thanks for watching Dolly Roger Airsoft. Peace out.